everyone, I hope you're good. I am live because I want to talk to you about the 30-day Lebanese Arabic challenge courses, which are beginning on October 5 and finishing November 3. Also, I want to say that I've been not putting lessons enough because I've been working very, very hard on some recorded courses, but at the same time, I've been on half a holiday, I could say with my family, so it's been a busy time. That's why I wasn't able to upload a lot of lessons. Hi, Tare. Hi, everyone. So I wasn't able to upload lessons, but I promise you that I'm going to be more uh, disciplined from now on, and I will try to upload as many lessons as I can. So, yalla, I'm going to tell you about two things today. Um, the 30-day challenge course, which starts on October 5 and finishes November 3, and the recorded lessons. I'm going to start by telling you about the Zoom lessons with me, the 30-day challenge. So why is the 30-day Lebanese Arabic challenge courses important? Because uh, for me, I believe like whenever I do 30-day challenges to myself, it really works a lot. Uh, for example, if I want to exercise, which I'm not doing now, but whenever I want to exercise, I do 30 day challenges or if I want to dance, I do. I say to myself, OK, I'm going to dance every day for 30 days. When I'm learning the piano, I do the same. I want to learn uh, 30 days and I want to practice the piano every day for one hour for 30 days. And this kind of gives me a motivation or a goal. And that's why that's that's how I came up with the idea of doing the same with my students, because it gives them a push to learn the language, if, especially if they've been wanting to do it for a long time and they feel like it, it requires a lot of time to learn a language. But when you do every day, every day with us together on Zoom for an hour and a half, it really gives you a push to, to build a very strong foundation and move on uh, in your language learning journey. So uh, as usual, I, have, I now have already seven courses, seven Lebanese Arabic courses. Uh, I don't open all of them every month, as you might already know. Uh, I always wait for my students' emails and they tell me which courses they want to take, what levels they are, what times they want to do, and I sit down. I have them all in front of me on a chart and I try to come up with a schedule. So that's why, if you're interested in doing the courses with me, you have to send uh, your inquiries as soon as you can so I can come up with a schedule as fast as I can. So I have the Absolute Beginners course, Absolute Beginners Lebanese Arabic course. It's great for you if you've never learned Arabic in your life and you can't read and write. That's where you should be. Now, if you can read and write, but you're still a beginner, I also have a beginner's course. In this beginner's course, we improve a lot our pronunciation, our reading, because I sometimes have students who reach the general three or the advanced course, but they still have a gap with reading. So this holds them back from improving. So the beginner's course is great for you if you want to improve your reading a lot, because that's where I do small, that's where I do small uh, role plays and scenarios. But like very tiny ones, every day we can do one and like that you can improve your speaking, reading and also mainly pronunciation. Now the general one course is uh, the, uh, from there onwards, from absolute beginners and beginners, yes, this is for beginners. But from general one onwards, I, I like to call them general one courses, general Lebanese courses, because it's not like intermediate, advanced or you advance in the level. No, they, you can switch levels like some students I have. They do general four, then they do general three, then they do advanced, they do, then they do general two. But ideally, general one. I recommend you do it first before general two. Now in general one, what I do, I, there is a lot of focus on, of course, speaking, but at the same time, a lot of grammar. We, co we cover all the conjugations, all the tenses. That's in general one. I recommend it if you learned Fusha or if you know some Arabic, maybe your parents are Lebanese and you want to go back to learning your language. General one is a great place to be. Or maybe you studied Lebanese Arabic for about six months, one year, even one year and a half. It really depends. So the only way I can find out is if we have a quick conversation over the phone. And from there, I can recommend the right level for you. Now, the general two course is a very, very intensive course, grammatically speaking. Some of my students who have taken it can even write about it. I think, in my opinion, it's one of my 
most difficult uh, courses because it's really intensive grammatically we talk about the verb forms we talk about participles and we review all the tenses and of course we do um, a lot of speaking as well especially towards the end uh, we we start flipping it into conversational but if you're after hi jacob but if you're after uh, hi alush <laughs> but if you're after doing more conversational courses the general three and the general four courses are the best for you. Now, general three and general four are the same level. None of them is uh, more difficult than the other. The only difference is that we cover just different role plays. So in general three and general four, you will learn a lot of vocab, a lot of uh, conversations, and of course, a lot of role plays, different scenarios, what to, how to, I don't know, uh, how to order uh, food in a restaurant, how... Uh, how to change your tire, how to go to the gas station if you're in the doctor's uh, clinic or really, really just uh, everyday situations. What do you mean, Alush, as a former student? You're not going to come back? Yalla, come back. I'm waiting for you. So, uh, but thank you. So, uh, that's general three and general four. Advanced, the advanced lessons. Uh are great for you if you have a very strong foundation already in the grammar and your you don't have gaps in your language that's where i i use really it's like almost like you're in lebanon but even if you're not in lebanon we try to make it more like an like a, like a, you know you're as if you're integrated into lebanese culture we do a lot of social media uh, we watch a lot of movies we do songs we watch the news we we watch talk shows um really everything that's happening in lebanon you know uh, it, we, it kind of updates you about the news of lebanon the culture and of course the speaking is really advanced so this is this was really a very quick summary I wanted to give you about the courses. I want to repeat, it's going to be from October 5 until November 3. So that's every day we study together on Zoom. And Saturdays and Sundays, you study with your classmates. We have study sessions and they are monitored. Whenever you have a question, I would quickly join and answer them. Or you just text me and I answer them. And yeah, that's how it works. Um, now, the second news I have... And this is something I'm very, very happy about and I'm really excited about is that I now am recording our 30 day challenge courses. And this is great for you if you needed the flexibility and you've been wanting to do these 30 day challenges with me for a while. And maybe you have work or maybe you, you are in a different country, you know, like the, the, the biggest challenge is that some students I have like are in Europe, others are in the USA and uh, so it's really, really challenging for me to come up with a schedule that is used, like suitable for everyone. So that's why these pre-recorded lessons are great if you want to do the self-studying on your own. So, so far I have the absolute beginner's course ready for you to get and study on your own. And I also have the general one course. Now, uh, I want to say something about these courses in my opinion, really, like, okay, even if I'm saying something nice about my lessons, like, it's nice also sometimes to know what you have. I really think these courses are like a gem. The amount of knowledge and content you get in them is absolutely amazing. I'm going to record a separate video for this to talk about exactly what you learn, exactly what you expect, the, and share with you the, the, the lesson plans. So you know when you when you get the course, what are you going to learn? How are you going to learn it? And what are you going to achieve within the 30 days? I think that's it. So I'm going to wait for your emails. If you're interested in doing these Lebanese Arabic courses with me, as I said, October 5, November 3. The next one will be November 8 until December 7. So these would be the last courses before the end of this year. I already lost count of which edition is this. It's been going on for such a long time. So... I'm not even sure which edition this is. And um, yeah, if you have any, any questions, you can get in touch. My email address is shariq at globetrotwitharabic.com. So once again, it's shariq at globetrotwitharabic.com. I'm going to write it under this video. And also, I'm going to leave a link for a form. You can fill the form and send it back to me if you want to do one of the courses. And as usual, if you're not sure about your level, 
I am here to have a quick conversation with you and to recommend the right course for you. I think this is everything I wanted to say. I'm going to Lebanon tomorrow, so I'm going to have some time off. I'm not going to be teaching. I think this is this is going to be a chance for me to go back to uploading more videos and maybe I can show you around my village or you know walk around Lebanon and show you things and learn Arabic at the same time. I think that's it. Anyone has a question before I go? If you have any questions, you can ask them now or as well I can answer them later on if you you just can write them in the comment box i'm going to share this video as a post okay yeah like guys thank you all for joining yalla bye bye